Buster Keaton was one of the most extraordinary comic talents in Hollywood. He came of age during the same time that Charlie Chaplin, Harold Lloyd, and Laurel and Hardy came about. Yet he managed to stand out with his own unique style, especially his well-crafted gags and stunts. But his life was perhaps the epitome of the tragic hero who managed to make everyone laugh. In fact, Buster Keaton nearly drank himself to death until he was saved. Join Facts First to look back at Buster Keaton's life and career and how he nearly drank himself to death. Joseph Frank Keaton was born October 4, 1895, in the town of Pequa, Kansas. His father, Joe Keaton, was a traveling entertainer. Along with magician Harry Houdini, Joe Keaton performed on stage and even sold patent medicine. Joe Keaton eventually became a vaudeville performer and even appeared in a few silent films. And his son Joseph followed in his footsteps and carried the family name even further. As an infant, Joseph fell down a flight of stairs and managed to get up, seemingly unfazed. A family friend witnessed this remarkable incident and claimed that young Joseph was a regular buster. Joe Keaton liked this remark and began calling Joseph Buster. At this age, Buster Keaton was born and the world would get to see him doing several dangerous gags and getting on with it, all for the sake of making us laugh. At age three, Buster began performing in vaudeville along with his parents in a troupe known as the Three Keatons. Part of the act included Buster disobeying his father and his father grabbing him and throwing him. But young Buster had mastered the art of falling without getting injured and jumping back up. This sometimes controversial act is what helped Buster Keaton master his craft. There were a few times Buster would laugh when his father threw him, but eventually he noticed audiences wouldn't laugh as much when he did this. He used this as an opportunity to cultivate his deadpan look and his poker face. While his career continued as he matured, his father began having personal troubles. Joe Keaton eventually became an alcoholic, and this took its toll on Buster and his mother Myra. Eventually, Myra left Joe, and she and Buster moved to New York. Buster soon decided he wanted to continue his show business career, but he knew vaudeville had its limits. He wanted to become a movie star. While he initially had some skepticism towards the relatively new medium of cinema, he soon realized this was the ideal medium to showcase his comedic skills. Best of all, the technology of film would save Buster's talents for posterity. His first major role was the 1917 comedy film The Butcher Boy, in which he starred alongside legendary comic performer Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. He enjoyed working with Arbuckle and ended up appearing in a total of 14 films with him. As Buster Keaton became more popular, he was given the chance to star in many short and feature comedy films. Often he'd have full creative control over these films, though some weren't always as successful when he was in charge. Nevertheless, Buster eventually became a big star, and even as the sound era came around, he continued to find lots of work, something some of his contemporaries struggled with. Later in his career, Buster Keaton also worked as a gag writer for many films and TV shows. He often made cameo appearances in feature films as he got older. He even starred in a short-lived TV show called Life with Buster Keaton. Buster had troubles working with major studios and executives. However, for the most part, he's remembered as a consummate professional and was a joy to work with. Whether he was a side performer, as with Fatty Arbuckle, a star in his own films, or a writer, as with the Marx Brothers, there was clearly no end to his talents. Before we tell you more about Buster Keaton's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Buster's Troubles Buster Keaton made us all laugh, yet his personal life wasn't without its troubles. He naturally felt a great deal of sadness after his family broke up and his father succumbed to alcoholism. Buster's first marriage was to actress Natalie Talmadge. She was a silent film actress, and the two of them got married in 1921. They had two children together, Joseph and Robert. They both enjoyed a lavish lifestyle in public, and it seemed that their life was perfect and enviable. But behind the scenes, there was a lot of sadness. Natalie decided not to have more children after their son Robert was born. This went to such an extreme that Buster and Natalie decided to sleep in separate bedrooms. Buster would have affairs, but do his best to keep this quiet in public. Their relationship wasn't great, and Buster would often embarrass Natalie in public. Their tumultuous relationship eventually ended in 1932 in divorce, after 11 years of marriage. After the divorce, Natalie changed her children's surnames to her own, so they didn't have to live under their father's shadow. She also desired that Joseph and Robert would not be in contact with Buster ever again. After the divorce, Buster began drinking. He made the same mistakes his father had made and eventually became an alcoholic. 
His alcoholism took over his life, and his dedication to his work drastically worsened. He had to seek medical attention to improve his condition. He ended up marrying his nurse, May Scriven, even though she couldn't save him from his alcoholism. She ended up divorcing Buster when she found him having an affair with Leah Clampett Sewell, who was the wife of Barton Sewell, one of America's most prominent millionaires. They were divorced in 1939. This is what saved Buster Keaton. In 1939, the same year he divorced May, Buster met Eleanor Ruth Norris. She was a professional dancer who often appeared in variety shows. She was 23 years younger than Buster, yet the two of them hit it off as soon as they met. Buster had steady work as a gag writer for the Marx Brothers, but he still couldn't control his alcoholism. Eleanor was in love with him and wanted to save his life. They married in 1940 and she managed to help him curb his alcoholism. He never stopped drinking entirely, but he significantly cut down on his intake and this made all the difference. They had a happy marriage, and one can credit Eleanor for saving Buster Keaton's life. Buster died February 1, 1966, in Woodland Hills, California. He was 70. After his death, Eleanor continued to promote his legacy. She donated much of his memorabilia and possessions to various museums to showcase his life and career. She'd often give interviews where she discussed her relationship with Buster and his incredible career. She passed away in 1998 at age 80. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Buster Keaton is recognized as one of the greats of early Hollywood comedy? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.